Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabatu fillah in a beautiful hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which talks about the importance of da'wah ila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we learn the importance of calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that da'wah ila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of the greatest things we can do because it's a type of dhikr and you're reminding others of the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in this hadith the hadith of Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'an in which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sent him to the battlefield and he told him to call the people to Islam and that shows us why do we understand that this shows us the ahamiyah to da'wah the importance of da'wah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this is on the battlefield but do you ever hear those people, those others, who are not concerned with da'wah the law, they're concerned with death and bloodshed and destructiveness and hatred and the spreading of enmity. You don't ever hear them talking about calling anyone to anything except for calling them to the Kalashnikov. So here, we see from the prophetic menhaj and methodology, we see that the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordered Ali ibn Abi Talib to call the people and then he said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at the end of the hadith after this very long hadith he said Lian Yahdi Allah Bika Rajalin Wahidin Khairan Khairan Laka Min Humr Nam he said that if Allah guides one person by your hand, it is better for you than the red camels. And that shows us, Sahaba Tafillah, that the Minhaj Rabbaniyah is da'wah, is calling people to the worship of Allah. And really, you may not have observed, but in fact, this is also a way of striking against Hezbiyah. Because Hezbiyah, when you call to your group, your clan, your clique, your race, your nationality, your whatever it is that you're calling to, then those are distractions. That means you're not calling to Allah, or at least you're mixing your call with the call to something else. So by calling to Allah is where you get your reward. And calling to Allah is what the Prophet Sallallahu called to. And that is the minhaj of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. So the Prophet Sallallahu said, لِيَنْ يَهْدِيَكَ لِيَنْ يَهْدِيَ اللَّهُ بِكَ رَجْلٍ وَاحِدٍ خَيْرًا لَكُمْ مِنْ حَمْرَنَا that if Allah guides one person by your hand, it's better for you than the red camel. And the red camel is was known and probably still known in some of the Arab lands as one of the most valued forms of uh, possession. You know, it's an immense form of wealth. And then during the time of the Prophet ﷺ, the red camels uh, had immense value. So the Prophet ﷺ is letting us know that it's better than what this dunya contains. It's better than the houses that you can acquire. It's better than the vehicles that you can drive. Better than the nationalities you can attain. Better than all of these other things. If one calls to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity. That really that is the supreme success. And so we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be a source of good. And a force of good. And a force calling to him to wa ta'ala alone and not a source of calling to ourselves and calling to racism or nationalism or uh, deviant sects and methodologies but rather a source of calling to Allah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam